everyone and welcome back to my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll put a link here for you. Now today I've got something a little different from my typical video. It's an unboxing for the first time. And there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube and such about unboxing a gun and you know, I, I, I think they're a little bit boring or lame if you will. You know, typically people buy a gun, they open the box and this is what you got. That's pretty much self-explanatory. You can expect a degree of stuff that comes with your box with your the item you bought but in this case it's a little bit different I bought a surplus rifle it's an SKS and I owned an SKS back in the early 90s and I think they were about 39 or 59 dollars back in the day when I bought mine I couldn't hit a doggone thing with it it was a Chinese Norinco uh, had the blade bayonet on it I just couldn't hit anything with it. I ended up selling it for like 150 dollars so I more than doubled my money however you know, come to turn out, nowadays those guns are worth a whole lot more apparently. And looking back, I should have never sold it, but I, you know, I was much younger, didn't have much money, so I figured why not. I want an AK-47 anyway. So I went ahead and sold it. Um, yeah, even at that time of that era, if you will, people were just poo-pooing the, the Chinese-made guns. And now it seems like they're more prized than anything else, aside from Russian. I bought this from Classic Arms. It's in a long, very long box. I really can't show the entire box, but the thing I wanted to show you was how it was packed. Being a surplus gun, they're usually packed in Cosmoline. And if you've never seen Cosmoline firsthand, it's pretty nasty stuff. So it's, I got it, it's bubble packed when it came. And I just chose rack grade or whatever. I didn't do the hand picked anything. So we've got this nasty, Rifle wrapped up in bubble wrap. It smells awful, the, the Cosmoline does. Um, but let's take a look. I'm gonna peel some of this off. It's very sticky. In fact, I'm gonna put some rubber gloves on when I actually use this or go to clean this up. But everything has to be cleaned on this. And this is a packing grease they put on these guns for long-term storage. And when I was younger and you know buying guns, they were always packed in some kind of nastiness like this. So it was not uncommon for me, but you know, nowadays, it's, you don't see it that often anymore unless you're buying a surplus gun. And these were advertised as used, going to have some trench art, you know, where people are carving their stuff on them while they're sitting around waiting to kill people. Uh, but this, most likely this gun has been used in some kind of conflict or training. So you can see the stock is dinged up a whole lot. But let's, let's take a look at all that. That is actually grease or the Cosmoline, however you want to call it. This gun has all matching serial numbers, which was pretty cool because I didn't specify that I wanted matching serial numbers. I just wanted to get, you know, a, another SKS to replace the one I'd, I'd sold years ago. And I just want a shooter. That's all I want. Collector, collector value is not that big for me. This does not have the, uh, the grenade launcher on the end. Oh, listen to that bubble wrap. My kids are going to dig that. This doesn't have the grenade launcher on the end. I saw those for a long time, the Yugos. I just didn't want one with a grenade launcher. I didn't, didn't really care for it. So it's got the cleaning rod, the folding bayonet, just like the one I had years ago. The one I had years ago was in much nicer shape. It was like pristine, brand new. It's considered a, compared to this thing. Let's take a look at the bolt. Look at that. That's a whole lot of nasty right there. So basically for this video, real short video, I wanted to demonstrate this because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have not seen a gun packed in Cosmoline and <laughs> this is a lot of work, probably a couple of hours worth of work. I'm gonna have to disassemble this and clean it up to where it's shootable and I do plan on shooting this. Well anyways, nice and short video, told you it was gonna be that. Thanks for watching and remember if you're not a subscriber, subscribe now, go to the Google Plus page, Give me a like, follow me, or however Google calls it, and uh, you'll see more notifications through that, that venue there. Well, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.